security agents surround National Stadium Surulere. Welcome to Newspoint. My name is Gabriel Isong. Now the main news. Security agents have surrounded the National Stadium in Surulere, Lagos, in anticipation of the Revolution Now protest march scheduled to hold today. According to the Punch newspaper, the Joint Internal Security Operational Platform, made up of the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force, commonly referred to as OP Mesa, have their vans parked around the National Stadium, Surulere, Lagos. This was followed by the arrest of Mr. Omoyele Shoare, publisher of the online medium Sahara Reporters, also the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress in the February 2019 general elections. Showare had called for the staging of the revolution now in what he described as a protest against bad governance in the country. The security department had said that Showare was arrested in his home for threatening public safety, peaceful coexistence and social harmony in the country. Therefore, called on Nigerians to disregard the threat of revolution issued by him. However, the General Secretary, United Action for Democracy and member of the Socialist Workers and Youth League, Mr. Kunlejai, has vowed to go on with the mass action and that they will not be deterred by the arrest of their leader, Showare. Ajayi said via his Twitter handle that the government cannot stop the revolution because the time has come adding that this generation cannot continue with a bad administration, but intends to hand over a better world to our children. Ajayi, in a statement on Saturday, had spoken on behalf of the Lagos chapter of the Congress, calling for more mobilization in defiance of the government order banning the scheduled action. He said, the Lagos branch of the African Action Congress condemns Showare's arrest and President Muhammadu Buhari's stubborn and cruel anti-democratic credentials, adding that the revolution now will outlive all forces of repression, particularly the Buhari administration. He therefore called on the Coalition for Revolution and other organizers to continue with the mobilization. In a related development, another group, the Coalition in Defense of Nigerian Democracy and Constitution, vowed that the mass action scheduled to commence on Monday would go on as planned despite Shoare's arrest. That's it on the news. We have a social commentator and a current affairs analyst who will shed more light on the issue. Let's meet Mr. Bongesian. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, you are very much in tune with the recent uh, organized revolution uh, plan by Shoare, Omoele Shoare. And then looking at this protest, does it really mean the protesters are calling for the sack of the president? Yeah, I wouldn't want to put words into the mouth of the protesters, but obviously they are trying to force a discussion. They are trying to make um, some sort of a point that we should come out and discuss the issue of Nigeria as a, a federation. And um, there are so many concerns that have been triggered off by recent developments in the polity and they're trying to force a discussion of these concerns. Okay, so, so what do you think um, would have triggered of this wave of protest? Um, the immediate um, uh, security situation in the country probably are the immediate triggers for this uh, protest. We have seen the um, concerns um, raised by uh, protests by um, Islamic movements of Nigeria, the Shites group, and um, uh, headsmen issues, uh, insecurities all over the place. And these probably uh, were the immediate triggers of this um, uh, protest that we are seeing today. But the build-up has been on for some time before it got to this point. Okay, we, we've had several protests in this country in the past. And um, uh, going by the records, uh, much have never been recorded. What do you think um, this one could lead to? Uh, no one can really predict what this may lead to, but we've seen uh, situations where protests like this have uh, caused a change of government, especially in the uh, Arabian countries and some North African countries. And um, the label revolution, as we are having it now, uh, presuggests that you know the organizers of this protest actually want to um, change. Um, in the polity of some sort. And um, we cannot say 
that uh, for sure that this will lead to such change but all we can say is that it's going to influence the narrative of what is happening in the Nigerian polity at least for a season. Uh, very well. Uh, let's take a look at the background of the conveners of this protest. Uh, we have um, uh, Omoyele Showare and the rest of them. Uh, do you think they have the credibility and the moral grounds to organize a revolution? Um, I want to start by saying that um, organizing uh, a protest of any kind is actually guaranteed in the Nigerian constitution. And, um, you know, just labeling it a revolution does not mean that uh, they are calling for arms. Some revolutions are not necessarily armed rev a resolution. Okay. And, um, the next point is the credibility of the people who are organizing these uh, protests. As Nigerian citizens, they have the right to do the protests, but a moral question has been raised over the personalities involved. We've heard some people who are members of the ACC, the party on which um, Shawari contested for presidency, uh, come out to say that uh, he's involved in case of uh, in cases of uh, uh, financial uh, misappropriation and that um, hangs a moral burden on the personality behind this protest but be that as it may Shawari has been known to you know conduct protests and be at the forefront of uh, uh, social discourse before so on that ground i think we should just ignore the issue of the person's credibility and consider the subject of the protest. Should we engage in a national discourse for our security, for the quality of governance that we want? The answer is yes. Okay, so taking a look at the present situation in the country right now, do we really need a revolution to effect a change? We don't need a revolution, um, armed revolution. I want to use the word armed revolution to effect a change. Um, but in social bargain processes, sometimes the people that come up with the first um, call uh, stretch what they want. They can call a revolution or call something very big and they expect, you know, some kind of response. And then there will be horse trading, there will be bargaining and people will come to the table to discuss this issue. We have heard um, other leaders in our society, prominent people, former head of state, call for the need for us to have a discussion on the way forward as a polity. Political concerns, security concerns have been raised. And this is just a build up uh, to that discourse that is unavoidable. We have to have it at some point. And uh, what is happening today that these uh, members of this uh, revolution movement are hitting the streets is actually uh, leaning the voice that all is not well and we have to talk. Well, thank you so very much, Mr. Bongasen, for coming on the show. For more, you can log on to our website, www.memoristv.com.ng, or watch us on YouTube at Memories TV. Thanks for watching. My name is Gabriel Isom. Bye for now.